Human male nectar, the alien girl's new obsession and the galaxy's finest drink. In the heart of the bustling Andromeda galactic trade hub, nestled between the shimmering skyscrapers and the vibrant alien markets, stood Philoth's Delicacies, the most renowned purveyor of exotic drinks and rare delicacies in the known universe. The shop's unassuming facade belied the treasure trove of culinary wonders within, drawing discerning patrons from every corner of the galaxy. Amidst the colorful array of bottles and jars lining the shelves, a striking figure caught the eye of many, a beautiful humanoid woman with shimmering cerulean skin and a mane of fiery red hair cascading down her back. Her lithe, athletic form was clad in a form-fitting black jumpsuit that accentuated her curves, while her piercing emerald eyes sparkled with mischief and intelligence. Zarya Starsong, the galaxy's most famous adventurer and bounty hunter, had come to Philoth's in search of a legendary libation, human male nectar. Reputed to be saturated with potent human hormones and raw masculine energy, the pearlescent, shimmering liquid had become the most sought-after delicacy in the known universe, despite its astronomical price tag. As Zarya approached the counter with a confident stride, the wizened shopkeeper, a three-eyed Sorbonian named Phyloth, greeted her with a knowing smile. Ah, Miss Starsong, what a pleasure to see you again. I assume you're here for your usual? Zarya leaned against the counter, a playful smirk dancing on her lips. You know me too well, Phyloth. I just can't resist the allure of human nectar. There's something about its rich, invigorating essence that keeps me coming back for more. Phyloth chuckled as he reached beneath the counter, producing an ornate crystalline vial filled with a mesmerizing, opalescent liquid that seemed to dance with an inner light. You and half the galaxy, my dear. But I must warn you, the price has gone up yet again. Those crafty humans know they have a monopoly on the most coveted substance in the universe. Zarya sighed, producing a sleek black credit chip from a hidden pocket in her jumpsuit. I suppose I'll have to take on an extra bounty or two to fund my little indulgence. But trust me, Feloth, it's worth every credit. As the shopkeeper processed her payment, Zarya cradled the vial in her hands admiring the way the nectar's pearlescent sheen caught the light. She unstopped the delicate crystal cap and inhaled deeply, savoring the complex bouquet, a heady melange of musk, spice, and something uniquely human that set her heart racing. Unable to resist any longer, Zarya raised the vial to her lips, allowing a single shimmering drop to fall into her tongue. The effect was instantaneous. A surge of invigorating energy coursed through her body setting every nerve ending alight with sensation. The nectar was more than just a delicious treat. It was a powerful stimulant that heightened the senses, sharpened the mind, and ignited the passions. Zarya felt her skin flush and her pupils dilate as the nectar's potency took hold, a soft moan of pleasure escaping her lips. By the stars, she breathed, steadying herself against the counter. I swear this stuff gets more intense every time. Philoth nodded sagely, his three eyes glinting with amusement. That's the nature of human nectar, my dear. Unlike other species who can only produce it once a year, human males generate it constantly. And with each passing cycle, its potency only grows. As Zarya savored the lingering taste on her lips, a sudden thought struck her. Phyloth, I don't suppose you know where I might find a human male, do you? It occurs to me that if I could persuade one to share his nectar directly, I could save myself a fortune in the long run. The shopkeeper's eyes widened in surprise, then narrowed with a conspiratorial gleam. Well, well, Miss Starsong, that's quite a daring proposition. But as it happens, I've heard whispers of a human outpost not far from here, on the edge of the Orion Arm. If anyone could sweet-talk a human into sharing his resources, I'd wager it would be you. Zarya flashed him a dazzling smile, her mind already racing with possibilities. Then it looks like I have a new mission. Watch out, human boys. Zarya Starsong is coming for you and your delicious nectar. Pocketing the vial, she strode out of the shop with newfound purpose, her hips swaying seductively as she disappeared into the bustling crowds of the trade hub. Little did Zarya know that her quest for human nectar would lead her into the arms of a most unexpected ally, and that together they would uncover a secret that could change the course of the galaxy itself. As she made her way back to her sleek, state-of-the-art starship, the Celestial Siren, Zarya's thoughts were consumed by visions of the adventure to come. She had always been drawn to the unknown, the forbidden, and the dangerous. And what could be more tantalizing than the prospect of seducing a human male and securing a steady supply of their legendary nectar? But first she needed information, 
The human outpost Philoth had mentioned was a mystery, and Zarya knew better than to rush in blindly. She would need to call in a few favors, consult her network of informants, and gather as much intel as possible before setting out on her quest. As she stepped aboard the Celestial Siren, Zarya was greeted by the ship's AI, a smooth, disembodied voice that seemed to emanate from the very walls. Welcome back, Miss Starsong. I trust your visit to Philoth's was productive? Zarya smirked, settling into the plush captain's chair and propping her boots up on the console. Oh, it was definitely productive, Vega. In fact, I think we might be embarking on our most exciting adventure yet. The AI's voice took on a note of curiosity. Do tell, Miss Starsong, what sort of trouble are we getting into this time? Zarya's eyes sparkled with mischief as she gazed out at the stars, her mind already light years ahead. The best kind of trouble, Vega, the kind that involves daring, danger, and maybe even a little romance. We're going to find ourselves a human male and persuade him to share his... nectar. If an AI could sound scandalized, Vega certainly did. Miss Starsong, you can't be serious. Humans are notoriously unpredictable, and their males are said to be particularly volatile. Zarya threw her head back and laughed, the sound rich and musical in the confines of the ship. Oh, Vega, you should know by now that I live for the unpredictable. And besides, I have a feeling that human males and I are going to get along just fine. With a flick of her wrist, Zarya brought up a holographic star map, the glowing points of light casting an ethereal glow over her features. Now let's see what we can dig up on this mysterious human outpost. I have a feeling it's going to be the start of a beautiful adventure. As the celestial siren hummed to life, preparing to launch into the vast expanse of space, Zarya leaned back in her chair, a smile playing on her lips. The hunt for human nectar was on, and she couldn't wait to see where it would lead her. As the celestial siren sliced through the inky void of space, Zarya Starsong found herself growing increasingly restless. The promise of a face-to-face -face encounter with a human male and the tantalizing prospect of securing a steady supply of their legendary nectar had her on edge in the most delightful way. She paced the length of the ship's sleek interior, her mind racing with possibilities. What would he be like, this mysterious human? Would he be tall and muscular, with a chiseled jaw and smoldering eyes? Or perhaps lean and wiry, with a quick wit and a roguish charm? Zarya's skin tingled with anticipation, a flush of warmth spreading through her body at the thought of meeting him. She had always been drawn to the exotic and the unknown, and what could be more intriguing than a member of a species so rare and coveted? As if sensing her thoughts, Vega's disembodied voice filled the cabin. Miss Starsong, we are approaching the coordinates of the human outpost. Shall I initiate landing procedures? Zarya snapped out of her reverie, a slow smile spreading across her face. Yes, Vega, take us in. It's time to meet our human friend face to face. The celestial siren descended through the atmosphere of the small, unassuming planet, its cloaking device engaged to avoid detection. As the ship touched down on the outskirts of the outpost, Zarya felt a thrill of excitement course through her veins. She checked her appearance in the mirror one last time, admiring the way her form-fitting jumpsuit hugged her curves and accentuated her exotic beauty. With a final toss of her fiery red hair, she strode down the ramp and out into the unknown. The human outpost was a small, unassuming collection of prefabricated buildings nestled in a clearing amidst a dense forest of purple leaf trees. Zarya made her way towards the central structure, her keen senses on high alert for any sign of human presence. As she approached the entrance, the door slid open with a soft hiss, revealing a tall, broad-shouldered figure silhouetted against the bright interior light. Zarya's breath caught in her throat as he stepped forward, his features coming into sharp relief. He was, in a word, magnificent, taller than any male she had ever encountered with a powerful, muscular build that spoke of strength and virility. His skin was a rich, warm bronze, and his dark hair was cropped short, accentuating his chiseled features and piercing blue eyes. Those eyes widened in surprise as they landed on Zarya, taking in her exotic appearance with a mixture of curiosity and appreciation. Well, hello there, he said, his voice a deep, rumbling baritone that sent shivers down her spine. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Captain Drake Jones, at your service. Zarya felt a flush of heat rise to her cheeks as she extended a hand in greeting, marveling at the way his large, callous palm engulfed her own. Zarya Starsong, she replied, 
her voice taking on a sultry purr. I've come a long way to meet you, Captain Jones. Drake arched a brow, a hint of a smile playing at the corners of his mouth. Is that so? And what brings a beautiful creature like you to my humble outpost? Zaria leaned in closer, her emerald eyes sparkling with mischief. Why you, of course, or more specifically, something that only human males like you can provide. Drake's eyes widened in understanding, a slow, wicked grin spreading across his face. Ah, I see. You're here for the nectar, aren't you? Zarya nodded, her heart racing at his proximity. She could feel the heat of his body, the tantalizing scent of his skin, and it was driving her to distraction. I am, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get it. Drake chuckled, a deep rumbling sound that vibrated through her very core. Well, well, aren't you a bold one? I like that. He leaned in closer, his breath hot against her ear. But I should warn you, Miss Starsong, Nectar is a powerful thing. It's not to be trifled with lightly. Zarya shivered at his words, a delicious thrill running through her body. Oh, I assure you, Captain, I'm no stranger to power, and I always get what I want. Their eyes locked, a sizzling current of attraction arcing between them. For a long, charged moment, neither of them moved, the air thick with tension and unspoken desire. Finally, Drake broke the spell, stepping back and gesturing for her to follow him inside. Well then, Miss Starsong, let's discuss the terms of our arrangement, shall we? As Zarya followed him into the outpost, her heart pounding with anticipation, she knew that this was only the beginning. She had found her human, and with him, the promise of endless nectar and untold pleasures. But little did she know that their meeting would set in motion a chain of events that would change the course of the galaxy itself, and that the true power of human nectar was yet to be revealed. Inside Drake's private quarters, the air was thick with tension and unspoken desire. Zaria perched on the edge of his bed, crossing her long, shapely legs as she watched him pour two glasses of a rich, amber liquid. Whiskey, he explained, handing her a glass. A human specialty, not quite as potent as nectar, but it has its charms. Zarya accepted the drink, her fingers brushing against his as she took the glass. The contact sent a jolt of electricity through her body, and she had to suppress a shiver of delight. She raised the glass to her lips, inhaling the complex aroma before taking a sip. The whiskey burned pleasantly down her throat, spreading a warm glow through her chest. Mmm, she purred, her eyes never leaving Drake's. I can see why you humans enjoy this so much. Drake chuckled, settling into a chair across from her. It's not for everyone, but then again, neither is Nectar. Zarya leaned forward, her eyes sparkling with intrigue. Speaking of Nectar, I'm curious, Captain. What is it about human males that allows you to produce it so consistently? Other species can only generate it once a year at most. Drake took a sip of his own drink, his blue eyes intense as he regarded her over the rim of the glass. It's a matter of biology, I suppose. Human males are unique in many ways. Our bodies are in a constant state of renewal, always producing the hormones and pheromones that give nectar its potency. Zarya felt a flush of heat rise to her cheeks at his words, her mind filling with unbidden images of Drake's body, strong and virile, pulsing with the power of nectar. She crossed her legs more tightly, trying to ignore the growing ache between her thighs. And what about the effects? She asked, her voice husky with desire. I've heard that nectar can be quite stimulating. Drake's lips curved in a wicked smile, his eyes darkening with a hint of something primal. Oh, it is. Nectar heightens the senses, sharpens the mind, and ignites the passions. It's like liquid fire in your veins, burning away all inhibitions and leaving only pure, unadulterated pleasure. Zaria's breath caught in her throat, her body thrumming with need at his words. She could feel the heat of his gaze on her skin, could almost taste the nectar on his lips. It was maddening, the way he affected her so deeply with just a look, a word. And what about the other effects? She whispered, her voice trembling slightly. I've heard rumors of Nectar's aphrodisiac properties, of the way it can drive those who consume it to the very heights of bliss. Drake leaned forward, his eyes boring into hers with an intensity that stole her breath. Those rumors are true, he murmured, his voice low and rough with desire. Nectar is more than just a stimulant. It's a catalyst for passion, 
for pleasure beyond imagining. When a human male shares his nectar with another, the connection forged between them is profound, unbreakable. Zarya's heart raced at his words, her skin flushing with a heat that had nothing to do with the whiskey. She could feel the pull of Drake's body, the magnetic attraction that drew her to him like a moth to a flame. Show me, she breathed, setting her glass aside and rising to her feet. I want to experience it for myself. I want to taste your nectar to feel its power coursing through my veins. Drake stood as well, his powerful frame towering over her as he closed the distance between them. His hands came up to cradle her face, his thumbs brushing over her cheekbones with a tenderness that belied the hunger in his eyes. Are you sure? He whispered, his breath hot against her lips. Once we start down this path, there's no turning back. The bond forged by nectar is not easily broken. Zarya's eyes fluttered closed, her body arching into his touch. I've never been more sure of anything in my life, she breathed. I want this. I want you. And with those words, Drake's mouth descended on hers in a kiss that seared her to her very soul. His lips were firm and demanding, his tongue plundering the depths of her mouth with a skill that left her weak in the knees. Zaria moaned into the kiss, her hands fisting in the fabric of his shirt as she pulled him closer. She could feel the hard planes of his body against her own, the heat of his skin seeping through the layers of clothing that separated them. Drake's hands roamed over her curves, tracing the lines of her body with a reverence that made her ache with need. His touch was electric, igniting sparks of pleasure wherever it landed. As their kisses grew more heated, more desperate, Zarya knew that she was lost, lost in the taste of him, in the feel of his body against hers, in the promise of the nectar that flowed through his veins. And as they tumbled onto the bed in a tangle of limbs and gasping breaths, she knew that this was only the beginning the beginning of a journey that would take her to the very edges of the galaxy and beyond, to the heights of pleasure and the depths of passion. For in Drake's arms, with the power of human nectar coursing through her body, Zarya had found something she hadn't even known she was searching for, something that would change her life forever and set her on a path from which there was no return. As the days turned into weeks, Zarya found herself falling deeper and deeper under the spell of Drake's nectar. Each sip was like a burst of pure pleasure, igniting her senses and filling her with a rush of energy and euphoria unlike anything she had ever experienced. But it wasn't just the nectar that kept her coming back for more. It was Drake himself with his rugged charm, quick wit, and smoldering intensity. Every moment spent in his presence was electric, charged with a tension that set her body humming with desire. They fell into a routine of sorts, spending their days exploring the lush forests and crystal clear lakes that surrounded the outpost and their nights lost in each other's arms, drunk on nectar and passion. Zarya had never felt so alive, so utterly consumed by another being. Yet even as she reveled in the bliss of their connection, a nagging doubt began to creep into the back of her mind. She had come to the outpost seeking a steady supply of nectar, but now she found herself craving something far more potent. Drake's touch, his kiss, the very essence of his being. It was as if his nectar had become a part of her, as necessary as air or water. The thought of leaving him, of returning to her old life without the constant rush of his presence, filled her with a hollow ache that she couldn't quite name. One evening, as they lay tangled in the sheets of Drake's bed, their bodies still slick with sweat and nectar, Zarya voiced her fears aloud. Drake, she whispered, tracing the lines of his chest with a trembling finger. I think, I think I'm addicted to you. Drake's eyes fluttered open, his gaze soft and unfocused in the afterglow of their lovemaking. Addicted, he murmured, his voice rough with spent passion. What do you mean? Zarya swallowed hard, her heart racing as she struggled to find the words. Your nectar, she said at last. It's like nothing I've ever experienced before. It's not just a drink, it's, it's a part of you. And I can't imagine going back to my life without it, without you. Drake's brow furrowed, a flicker of concern passing over his face. Zaria, he said softly, cupping her cheek in his palm. I care for you deeply, more than I ever thought possible. But I don't want you to feel trapped here, bound to me by some chemical addiction. Zaria shook her head, pressing a finger to his lips. It's not just the nectar, she insisted. It's you, Drake, the way you make me feel, the way you ignite my senses and fill me with a joy I never knew existed. I'm not trapped. 
I'm exactly where I want to be. Drake's eyes searched hers for a long moment, a war of emotions playing out across his face. Finally, he let out a shuddering breath, pulling her close and burying his face in the crook of her neck. I feel it too, he whispered, his breath hot against her skin. This connection between us, it's unlike anything I've ever known. It's as if our very souls are entwined, bound together by something far greater than mere chemistry. Zarya's heart soared at his words, a rush of love and relief flooding through her veins. She held him tighter, reveling in the solid warmth of his body against hers. I don't want to let you go, she murmured, her voice thick with emotion. I can't bear the thought of losing this, of losing you. Drake pulled back, his eyes shining with a fierce intensity. You won't, he promised, his voice low and fervent. I won't let that happen. We'll find a way to make this work, to build a life together here on the outpost. I'll produce enough nectar to keep you satisfied, and you'll never have to leave my side again. Zarya's heart swelled with joy at his declaration, a giddy laugh bubbling up from her throat. She surged forward, capturing his lips in a searing kiss that left them both breathless. As they lost themselves in each other once more, their bodies moving in perfect sync, Zarya knew that she had found something far more precious than any mere drink. She had found love, pure and true, in the arms of a human male whose very essence had become her reason for being. But even as they basked in the glow of their newfound commitment, Zarya couldn't shake the feeling that their bliss was a fragile thing, a delicate balance that could be shattered at any moment. For the power of Drake's nectar was not to be underestimated, and the depths of their addiction to each other had yet to be fully explored. As the weeks turned into months, Zarya and Drake's passion only grew stronger, their need for each other's touch and taste becoming an all-consuming obsession. They spent every waking moment together, exploring the heights of pleasure that only human nectar could provide. But as their love deepened, so too did the potency of Drake's nectar. With each passing day, the pearlescent liquid grew richer and more intoxicating, its effects on Zarya's body and mind becoming ever more profound. She found herself craving it constantly, her thoughts consumed by the memory of its taste on her tongue, the way it set her nerve endings alight with pleasure. Even when they were apart, she could feel its pull, a siren song that called to her from across the stars. Drake, too, seemed to be changing, his very essence becoming more potent and alluring with each drop of nectar he produced. His eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, his skin taking on a shimmering, almost iridescent quality that left Zarya weak in the knees. Their lovemaking became an almost transcendent experience, their bodies merging in a dance of pure bliss that left them both shaken and trembling in the aftermath. It was as if they were tapping into some primal force, a well of passion and power that ran deeper than either of them had ever imagined. Yet even as they reveled in the intensity of their connection, Zarya couldn't shake the feeling that they were walking a dangerous path. The nectar was changing them both, binding them together in ways that defied explanation or understanding. She knew that she should be frightened by the depth of her addiction, by the way her very identity seemed to be merging with Drake's. But in truth, she had never felt more alive, more complete than she did in his arms. One night, as they lay entwined in the afterglow of their passion, Drake voiced the thoughts that had been weighing on both their minds. Zaria, he whispered, his voice rough with emotion. I think, I think my nectar is tied to my feelings for you. The stronger our love grows, the more potent it becomes. Zaria's heart skipped a beat at his words, a thrill of excitement and trepidation running through her veins. What does that mean? She asked softly tracing the lines of his face with a trembling finger. Drake's eyes fluttered closed, a shuddering breath escaping his lips. It means that you are my everything, he murmured, my reason for being, the very essence of my soul. Without you, I am nothing, and with you, I am capable of things I never dreamed possible. Zarya's breath caught in her throat, tears of joy and wonder pricking at the corners of her eyes. She had never felt so cherished, so utterly adored as she did in that moment. I love you, she whispered, the words feeling like a sacred vow on her lips. More than anything in this galaxy or any other, and I will never let you go, no matter what challenges we may face. Drake's eyes opened, shining with a fierce intensity that stole her breath. And I love you, he declared, his voice ringing with conviction. With every fiber of my being, with every drop of nectar that flows through my veins, 
You are my destiny, Zarya Starsong, and together we will conquer the stars. As they sealed their love with a kiss that burned with the fire of a thousand suns, Zarya knew that they had crossed a threshold from which there was no turning back. They were bound together now, their fates intertwined by a force greater than either of them could comprehend. And though the path ahead was shrouded in uncertainty, one thing was crystal clear. With Drake by her side and the power of human nectar coursing through her veins, there was nothing in the galaxy that could stand in their way. As their love blossomed and grew, Drake found himself eager to share more of his human heritage with Zarya. He wanted her to understand the richness and complexity of his culture, to experience the joys and pleasures that had shaped him into the man he was today. One evening, as they sat curled together on the plush sofa in Drake's quarters, he broached the subject of his favorite pastime. Have you ever heard of mixology? He asked, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Zarya tilted her head, curiosity piqued by the unfamiliar term. Mixology? Is that some kind of human art form? Drake chuckled, his fingers tracing idle patterns on the soft skin of her arm. In a way, yes. It's the art of creating cocktails, blending different flavors and textures to create something greater than the sum of its parts. Zarya's eyes widened, a slow smile spreading across her face. That sounds fascinating, and I bet you're an expert at it, aren't you? Drake grinned, a touch of pride in his voice. I've been known to mix a mean drink or two in my day, but I've never had the chance to experiment with nectar before. Can you imagine the possibilities? Zaria's heart skipped a beat, a thrill of excitement running through her veins. You want to create nectar cocktails? That's, that's brilliant, Drake. He nodded, his eyes shining with enthusiasm. Think about it. We could blend my nectar with other flavors and essences from across the galaxy, creating something truly unique and extraordinary. We could even open up a little bar here on the outpost, share our creations with all the travelers passing through. Zarya clapped her hands together, practically bouncing with excitement. The Nectar Lounge. It's perfect, Drake. We could create a space that's all our own, a haven for weary adventurers and thirsty explorers alike. Drake pulled her close, pressing a tender kiss to her forehead and at the center of it all, our love, the secret ingredient that makes everything else shine. Over the next few weeks, Drake and Zarya threw themselves into their new project with a passion that bordered on obsession. They scoured the galaxy for the finest ingredients, exotic fruits and spices from a dozen different worlds, each one carefully chosen for its unique flavor profile and potential to complement Drake's nectar. They spent long hours in the kitchen, experimenting with different combinations and ratios their laughter and playful banter filling the air as they worked. Drake taught Zarya the finer points of mixology, showing her how to balance sweet and sour, how to layer flavors and textures to create a drink that was more than just the sum of its parts. And at the heart of every creation was Drake's nectar, the shimmering, iridescent liquid that had brought them together in the first place. Its potency seemed to grow with each passing day, infused with the love and passion that flowed between them like an endless current. As their menu of nectar cocktails grew, so too did their vision for the Nectar Lounge. They transformed an unused storage room on the outpost into a cozy, intimate space filled with plush couches and twinkling lights. Zarya used her artistic talents to create a series of stunning murals on the walls, each one depicting a different aspect of their love story, from their first meeting in Philoth's shop to their adventures among the stars. When the doors of the Nectar Lounge finally opened, it was to a crowd of curious and eager patrons. Word had spread quickly among the outpost's inhabitants and visitors, and everyone was eager to sample the legendary Nectar cocktails for themselves. Drake and Zarya worked side by side behind the bar, their movements perfectly synchronized as they mixed and poured, their faces flushed with the heat of the crowd and the thrill of creation. They greeted each new customer with a smile and a story, sharing the tale of their love and the magic of human nectar with anyone who would listen. And as the night wore on and the drinks flowed freely, something extraordinary began to happen. The lounge became more than just a bar. It became a gathering place, a nexus point where beings from all corners of the galaxy could come together and share in the joy and wonder of Drake and Zarya's love. There were Sorbanians and Halag, Pehipehai and Zeti, all mingling and laughing together as if they had been friends for years. The nectar seemed to break down barriers and dissolve differences, creating a sense of unity and connection that was rare in the often fractious world of interstellar politics. 
Zarya watched it all with a sense of awe and wonder, her heart swelling with pride and love for the man by her side. Drake had opened up a whole new world to her, one filled with flavor and passion and endless possibility. And through the power of his nectar and the strength of their bond, they had created something truly special, a place where all were welcome and where the magic of love could be felt in every sip and every smile. As the night drew to a close and the last of the patrons drifted away, Drake pulled Zarya into his arms, his eyes shining with emotion. Thank you, he whispered, his voice rough with feeling. Thank you for believing in me, in us, for helping me create something beautiful out of the love we share. Zarya smiled up at him, her heart too full for words. She reached up to cup his face in her hands, drawing him down into a kiss that was sweet and slow and filled with promise. And as they lost themselves in each other's once more, the nectar lounge humming with the echoes of laughter and joy around them, they knew that they had found something truly precious. A love that could overcome any obstacle and a purpose that would guide them through whatever challenges lay ahead. In the weeks and months that followed, the nectar lounge became the talk of the galaxy drawing in visitors from every corner of the universe. They came for the legendary nectar cocktails, but they stayed for the atmosphere of warmth and camaraderie that Drake and Zaria had created. There was the elderly Aliisti couple, who had been married for over a century, who found a new spark of passion and adventure in each other's eyes as they sipped on a shimmering nectar sunrise. There was the young Zeti explorer, fresh from her first solo mission, who found the courage to chase her dreams after a long conversation with Zarya over a cosmic cooler. And then there was the grizzled old human spacer, a man who had seen more than his share of hardship and heartbreak in his long years among the stars. He had stumbled into the Nectar Lounge one night, his eyes haunted and his spirit broken, seeking solace in a bottle of the strongest drink he could find. But as he sat at the bar nursing a Nectar Noir and listening to Drake and Zarya's story, something in him began to shift. He saw in their love a reflection of the hope and beauty that he had thought lost forever. A reminder that even in the darkest of times, there was still light to be found. He became a regular at the lounge, a fixture at the end of the bar, always ready with a gruff joke or a word of hard-earned wisdom. And as the weeks turned into months, he began to open up, sharing his own stories of love and loss, of triumph and regret. Drake and Zarya listened to him with open hearts and gentle smiles, offering comfort and understanding in equal measure. They saw in him a kindred spirit, a fellow traveler on the winding road of life, and they welcomed him into their little family with open arms. And slowly but surely, the old spacer began to heal. He found in the Nectar Lounge a sense of belonging and purpose that he had never known before, a place where he could lay down his burdens and find peace in the company of friends. Drake and Zarya watched it all with a sense of wonder and gratitude marveling at the way their love had grown and flourished, spreading its roots far beyond the bounds of their little outpost. They knew that they had created something truly special in the Nectar Lounge. Not just a bar, but a home, a haven for all those who were lost or lonely, seeking connection and meaning in a vast and often unforgiving universe. And as they looked out over the crowded room, watching the laughter and the tears, the toasts and the embraces, they knew that they had found their true calling. They were not just lovers, not just bartenders. They were healers, guides, beacons of hope in a galaxy that so often seemed shrouded in darkness. Hand in hand, heart to heart, they stepped out from behind the bar and into the waiting arms of their friends and patrons, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. For they knew that with the power of human nectar flowing through their veins and the love of each other burning bright in their hearts, there was nothing they could not overcome, no dream they could not make real. And as the music swelled and the stars danced overhead, Drake and Zarya raised their glasses high, their voices joining with the chorus of the crowd. To the Nectar Lounge, they cried, their eyes shining with joy and pride, and to the love that brought us all together. As the Nectar Lounge continued to thrive, drawing in patrons from every corner of the galaxy, Drake and Zarya found themselves growing ever closer, their love deepening with each passing day. They had created something truly special together, a haven of warmth and connection in a universe that could be so cold and unforgiving. And they knew that they wanted to spend the rest of their lives by each other's side. One evening as they sat together on the rooftop of the outpost, gazing up at the stars that had brought them together, Drake turned to Zarya with a nervous smile on his face. Zarya, he said softly, 
taking her hand in his. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Zaria's heart skipped a beat, a flutter of anticipation in her chest. She had seen the way Drake looked at her, the depth of love and devotion in his eyes, and she knew that whatever he was about to say, it would change their lives forever. Drake took a deep breath, his fingers trembling slightly as he reached into his pocket and pulled out a small velvet box. Zarya Starsong, he said, his voice thick with emotion. From the moment I first saw you, I knew that you were the one. You've brought so much joy and light into my life, and I can't imagine spending another day without you by my side. He opened the box, revealing a stunning ring nestled inside. It was a band of shimmering gold, studded with a dozen tiny stars that seemed to dance and sparkle in the light. At its center was a single, perfect drop of Drake's nectar, suspended in a delicate crystal sphere. Zaria, Drake said, his eyes shining with love and hope. Will you marry me? Will you be my partner, my soulmate, my everything for all the days of our lives? Zaria's eyes filled with tears, her heart swelling with a joy so fierce and bright that it threatened to burst from her chest. She had known from the moment she first tasted Drake's nectar that he was the one she had been searching for all her life. And now, here he was, offering her a future filled with love and laughter, with purpose and passion and endless possibility. Yes, she whispered, her voice trembling with emotion. Yes, Drake Jones, I will marry you. I will be your wife, your lover, your partner in all things, for as long as the stars shine in the sky. Drake let out a whoop of joy, sweeping Zarya into his arms and spinning her around in a dizzying circle. They laughed and cried and kissed, their hearts beating as one, their souls entwined in a bond that could never be broken. And as they held each other close, basking in the warmth of their love, they knew that they wanted to share their joy with the entire galaxy. They would have a wedding like no other, a celebration of love and unity that would bring together beings from every corner of the universe. Over the next few weeks, they threw themselves into the planning with a fervor that bordered on obsession. They reached out to all the friends and allies they had made through the Nectar Lounge, inviting them to be a part of their special day. And to their amazement and delight, the response was overwhelming. Beings from every species and culture, from every walk of life and every corner of the galaxy, began to pour into the outpost, each one eager to witness the union of the two beings who had brought so much light and love into their lives. There were Sorbanians and Halag, Pehipehi and Zeti, humans and aliens of every shape and size, all united in their desire to celebrate the love that had brought them all together. And as the day of the wedding drew near, Drake and Zarya knew that they wanted to create something truly special to mark the occasion. They would blend their love into a single, perfect cocktail, a symbol of the unity and connection that they had fostered through the power of Drake's nectar. They spent long hours in the kitchen of the Nectar Lounge, experimenting with different ingredients and flavors, each one carefully chosen for its meaning and significance. There were the tart electric blue berries from Zarya's homeworld, symbolizing the spark of passion that had ignited their love. There were the rich golden spices from Earth, representing the warmth and comfort of Drake's human heritage. And at the center of it all, the shimmering iridescent drop of Drake's nectar, the essence of their bond, the symbol of the love that had brought them together and would keep them united for all the days of their lives. As the wedding day dawned, bright and clear and full of promise, Drake and Zarya stood hand in hand before the altar, their eyes shining with love and joy. They were surrounded by their friends and loved ones, each one holding a small vial of the special nectar cocktail they had created together. And as they spoke their vows, their voices trembling with emotion, they knew that they were not just joining their lives, but their very souls. They were two halves of a single whole, two stars in a vast and endless sky, forever bound by the love that flowed through their veins like the sweetest nectar. I, Drake Jones, he said, his eyes locked on Zarya's. Take you, Zarya Starsong, to be my wife, my partner, my soulmate. I promise to love you, to cherish you, to stand by your side through all the joys and sorrows of this life. I promise to be your rock, your shelter, your home for all the days of our lives. And I, Zarya Starsong, she said, her voice ringing out clear and strong, take you, Drake Jones, to be my husband, my lover, my everything. I promise to love you, to support you, 
to be your light in the darkness and your joy in the morning. I promise to be your partner, your equal, your other half, for as long as the stars shine in the sky. And with those words, they sealed their love with a kiss that seemed to last an eternity. A kiss that held all the passion and promise of a lifetime together. And as they turned to face their friends and loved ones, their hands clasped tightly together, they knew that they had found something truly precious, something that would endure through all the trials and triumphs of the years to come. To Drake and Zaria, the crowd cheered, their voices rising in a joyful chorus. To the love that brought us all together and the nectar that flows through our veins. And with that, they raised their vials high, the shimmering liquid inside catching the light and casting a rainbow of colors across the room. They drank deeply, savoring the sweet, complex flavors that danced on their tongues, each one a reminder of the love and connection that had brought them all to this moment. And as the celebration continued long into the night, with laughter and music and dancing filling the air, Drake and Zarya knew that they had found their true home, their true purpose, in each other's arms. They were the heart and soul of the Nectar Lounge, the beating pulse of the galaxy itself, and their love would endure for all eternity, as vast and endless as the cosmos that stretched out before them.